do better than us. Of course, we're so excited to welcome the uh, Disney musical star, now TV actor, man behind the scenes as well, Dan DeLuca. Dan, welcome to the show. Hi, guys. It's lovely to see you. Yeah. I, I can pretend like I'm in Florida with you. It looks rather nice there. So I'll just <laughs> pretend that I'm with you, drinking my Tampa Bay morning blend here. Yeah. I oh, it. I love it. Dan, give I us a little too. background about you and kind of uh, what you were doing up until these uh, crazy times, this crazy year of 2020, and how it's kind of making us all think a little differently and create content a little differently. Yeah, wow. There's a uh, there's a lot a lot to unpack there. But yeah, yeah I don't think um, any of us really saw this coming. My gosh. Um, but yeah, as, as you were saying, I am very much involved in the Broadway community and the theater scene. And I do some TV stuff as well as an actor. I'm also involved in the emotional intelligence world and the science of mindfulness and all those sorts of wonderful things as well. You have to get very creative as an artist, as you know. Uh, but basically, everything is shut down completely in New York. There were no shows happening. There's no, we're not filming any more TV shows and things like that. So uh, we, as artists, we kind of have to think outside of the box, exactly like you were saying. And I have this other company called Mindfulness and the Arts, where we teach other artists and, and other people in general, the science of, of the mind-body connection, how thoughts affect your body, how you can internally regulate stress inside of your body. And I've been planning on making some video content for the show, but now I have the time and the space to do that. And I found that a lot of self-help content and material can be a lot uh, rather bland or uh, a little boring if you will so i wanted to use all of the all of my expertise um in entertaining people and trying to make this self-help world a little bit more engaging and a little bit more entertaining by using um musical like musical numbers and puppets and animations and other broadway friends and tv actors and things like that to make this world a little bit more accessible because we need it during these times. We, we need to learn how to regulate our stress and learn about the well, science. Well, that's what I was going to ask. What's the goal? Like when people watch the show, when they kind of, what's their takeaway that you hope they get from it? Yeah. I mean, the, the show was meant to like inspire and uplift and uplift our audiences while focusing on positive psychology and the science of self-empowerment. So making these things that should be like kind of taught in schools, like very much, you know, we, we should learn how to work our bodies. So, you know, just these little helpful hints while making you laugh along the way and showing how your brain is a map of your past and the science of your heart and how you can really use your brain effectively to make your life even the t even a tiny bit less stressful. Like we, we, that's our aim. That's our intention with the show is make you laugh and uh, educate you on how, how all this stuff works. It's really, really beautiful. So, Dan, you just saw our Healthy at Home there at the beginning of the show. We actually have a mindful coach who is a contributor for our Healthy at Home segment, and she focuses on mindfulness. And the more I learn about it, the more it's like, okay, I was doing a little bit of that, say, here. I want to go back sure. to your past, perhaps. I'm assuming you had to use a little bit of, in the Broadway world, and maybe you didn't realize it was actually part of this mindful approach that people are starting to take and you're talking about in your show. Yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah, as uh, as an actor and as an artist, we you know we we wear our hearts on our sleeves. You know, mm -hmm. we're very much like wow, we're passionate, very expressionate, like you know all those things. And a lot of it, you know, we deal with rejection on a daily basis. And if you don't have a, a, a strong grasp on your mental health and the way that you handle rejection and the way that you handle stress, you know, we're constantly in survival mode, being like, where's the next job coming from? Or this person doesn't like like all these. All these things as a human being in general, like are just keeping the anxiety levels at bay. So I really, you know, I'm all about, you know, positive thinking and I was all into self-help books, but I really needed to see the science of how it all worked. I really needed to see the data. And so that's why I kind of dived into more of the the neuroscience and the mind-body connection to really, you know, I'm, I'm a believer of uh, when you wish upon a star, your dreams come true in the, in the whole Disney Aww. philosophy. But I wanted to know the science yeah. behind it because I was like, I know this is true. I know this can happen, but show me the science. And so now we're showing people the science of how to do that in a, in a new, entertaining and fresh, engaging way. So well, as we get ready to wrap up here, what is your pointer is that, you know, I think a lot of people in this time in this crazy world we live in are battling anxiety. They are battling depression. They are, these are, yeah. you know, I, this is a, 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 it's tough for a lot of, a lot of people. What is your message of hope this morning? My message of hope is that at the end of the day, I do believe, and I, I know, 
I can say I believe, but I know that everyone is good and that everyone is born with the purest and purest of hearts. And the world can make us cynical and the world can make us judgmental. But, you know, as they say on planes, you have to put your ox your oxygen mask on first before you help the person next to you. If we're able to take a little bit of time for ourselves and really focus on what's happening in here, you can't pour from a cup that's half empty or, or that's empty. We have to fill ourselves up first and educating yourself on how you work and how all of this wonderful mind mindfulness stuff works. It's, it's really beneficial and it Aww. affects every part of your life. So great. Yeah. Dan, you're awesome. We're out of time. You're People awesome. can go check out your, your website. I know for this great content and uh, let's, let's check back in soon. Okay. I would love that. Thank you guys for having me. Lovely to see you. Stay in touch. Okay, Dan. Will do. Have I a love good one, yep. There's the Cheers. website too, so you can check out the show. And uh, we hope you stay right here because our show will continue after the break.